in this video today, we're going to be looking at some basic basketball skills. We're going to take a look at shooting, we'll take a look at dribbling, and we're going to look at a couple of key passes that you'll need for the game of basketball. So let's start off with the skill of shooting. So when you're shooting, there's a few things that you need to look for. So your shot is going to be initiated by your dominant hand. In my case, it's my right hand. So my right hand is going to be bringing that ball out in front. My elbow is going to be out in front, lined up out in front of me. My non-dominant hand is here just to help balance the ball as it comes up. Now, as I am shooting, I want to make sure that I'm pushing upwards with the ball. I'm gonna, and my knees are slightly bent as well. Upwards with the ball as I extend my arm out. The ball is going to be coming off of the pads of my fingers. And as I release the ball, I'm going to be flicking my wrist and my fingers as the ball comes out of my hand. So let's take a look at that shot. All right, now let's take a look at dribbling. Dribbling is a really important skill. It takes lots of practice. Uh, you wanna be able to dribble with both your right and your left hand, and one hand will feel more comfortable. Your dominant hand most likely will feel more comfortable as you begin. So as you're dribbling, it's coming off of the pads of your fingers. You don't wanna be dribbling any higher than your waist, and as you're dribbling, it's really important in basketball that you have the ball protected. So your legs are going to be in a staggered position, and you've got that ball safely protected as you are dribbling it. A couple of things to note as you are dribbling, make sure that you're not having your hand come underneath the ball. Um, make sure that it is on top the entire time. Let's take a look at dribbling. Now finally, we're going to take a look at passing. There's two passes, types of passes that we are going to take a look at. The first is a chest pass, the second is a bounce pass. So with a chest pass, you're going to be using both hands, they're going to be on the side of the ball, you're going to bring the ball into your chest, and you're going to be pushing outwards, releasing off the pads of the fingers towards your target, whoever that may be. In a bounce pass, you're initiating from the chest as well, but this time you're pushing down towards the ground and you want to have one bounce before that ball goes to your target, whoever you happen to be passing to. So it's down towards the ground and then to your target. Now, for an added challenge, as you are practicing your bounce pass and your chest pass today, you could have someone start to move. Very often in a basketball game, you're going to be passing to someone who is moving, so a moving target. Where, so you will have to anticipate where they will be when the ball gets to them. So as an added challenge, try passing to someone who is moving uh, to simulate a more um, real situation in a basketball game. Let's take a look at passing. So now that we've had a chance to see what those skills should look like, it's your turn to go out and practice them. Uh, the only way that we do, uh, are able to develop and get better is through lots of practice. So get out there and try those basic basketball skills.